Welcome, my name is Chris Miller with Altor for Ag Products and I'm joined by Brad Kretzinger with Altor for Ag Products. We've got Kayla Parry here helping us behind the camera. Uh, today we're going to talk about some of the changes between the B-Series and C-Series Rogator and demonstrate some of those on the boom you see right behind us. One of the things we're going to demonstrate is how all sprayers in North America have been built and plumbed really since we've been using sprayers. And we've always achieved our application by feeding our main boom plumbing and that boom plumbing is always fed individual wet pipes. And we all know who runs sprayers and are around these big sprayers for a living, what likely happens at the ends of these wet pipe sections. We know that after coming out of corn season typically and using products that want to hang up, we all know what's behind the ends of these wet caps. We're about to solve that problem for good with the new C-Series Rogator that will be introducing this fall. Uh, we're going to demonstrate today taking these off, showing what gets caught in these. This is a machine here that only has 50 hours of use. So we're going to show in 50 hours what likely is already in this liquid system. So on this side of the boom, of course, we have our inline boom strainers here. And in order to catch debris, obviously, before they enter our wet pipe, as I'd mentioned, this machine has roughly 50 hours of use. Brad, why don't we go ahead and spin that off and just see what kind of debris we've already caught in this inline strainer. See, Brad's wearing his protective gear, doing the things right here. So Brad would always have his gloves. Brad, what have we got in there? We can see already in 50 hours, quite a bit of crud. And we know that once some of this gets past this strainer, there's only one place for it to end up next, in that wet pipe and likely in that spray tip. As we mentioned earlier, only 50 hours. Imagine three, four, 500 hours and not taking this off. Probably have been half plug full. For those of you watching this video that run sprayers and are around products like these, no matter what hood color they might be, we all know that the strainers don't catch everything. Some of that debris makes it on pass through our feed hose, and where does it end up? In our stainless steel boom, boom plumbing, our wet pipe. And where does it end up from there? Either packed at the end of our pipe, or trying to come out our spray tip, thus causing a plug spray tip. You're gonna soon see on the C-Model Rogator how we're going to eliminate this altogether. We're gonna give you one continuous pipe all the way to the end of the boom. And at the end of the boom, we're gonna return that product back to tank. So therefore, any product that might make it past here will be refiltered again as it's heading toward the end and returning back to tank. Eliminating entirely buildup at the end of the wet pipe for there is no end to the wet pipe. Massively reducing plugged spray tips from debris not getting hung up in those pipes. We're going to show you one of the most exciting, if not the maybe most exciting feature coming on the new C-Model Rogator. And we're going to show you how operators have typically charged booms in the past when switching from one product to the next and they need to charge their boom and then how we're going to do it on the new C-Model Rogator with recirculating liquid. What we've got here today is we have a 2017 current production Rogator with the individual wet pipes and wet caps. Brad Crosssinger here in a second is going to kick our boom on. Right now we're simply filled with fresh water. We're going to show on video the machine spraying with fresh water. After that, we're going to introduce a blue dye into the tank. And this blue dye then will agitate and circulate the tank. Brad then will re-kick back on the boom and we're going to show how long it takes that boom to totally filter out and turn to the blue dye. Basically emulating how long it takes to charge a conventional spray boom when switching from one product to the next. But the most exciting part about this, we're going to bring you a solution to it. When we show you how the new C-Model Rogator is going to do this, we're going to show you how you'll never have to spray product to the ground again to charge the boom. There'll be no more wasted product. There won't be 30, 40 gallons additional needed every time you leave and head to the field. There won't be hot spots in the corner anymore where we've created a zone where we over applied while charging the boom. Our operator, Brad Crusinger, is mimicking backing up into the corner in a stationary position. The boom right now is simply charged with water. We're going to demonstrate that first before we enter the blue dye. So you've just watched us introduce the dye into the tank. Brad's going to jump into the cab now and agitate this and really get it circulated. But that's only going to agitate what's in the tank. 
We have to remember we just watched the machine spray clear water through the boom. We know the only way to get the product all the way through the boom on any sprayer built up to this point is to spray it. We simply have to turn the booms on and spray what's in here to the ground out there until we have that boom completely charged. Most of the time, again, creating hot spots or wasting product. But again, no more. Soon you'll see a video from the three of us demonstrating the new C-Model Rogator where we'll be able to take what's in this tank, run it all the way through the boom, and return it back to tank without ever spraying it to the ground, eliminating and solving the problem of charging the booms and creating hot spots and wasting product. How long does it take for that blue product, our new product, to reach this nozzle, that nozzle, and all the way down to the end? We're gonna calculate how long it takes and how many gallons were used in order to achieve that. All right, we kick on our master switch here and we're starting to count gallons. Look under there and under total volume, you see we're about five gallons in. As we watch the spray come out the back here, we'll look at those two center nozzles. You're going to see they start turning blue. There they go. And we're going to look down the right hand side of our boom. Obviously, it's still clear water coming out of there. Uh, it's only about 20 seconds in. We're not going to be seeing any dye just quite yet. And you can see here we're about 24 gallons into our test. And as we look back at the center section here, we definitely got a lot of blue dye coming out. But we're only about 10 feet, 15 feet to either side, so we got about 30 feet uh, worth of dye coming out. 35 gallons into our test, 45 seconds in, now you can see what we're, we're maybe spraying about 50 to 60 feet wide. Uh, definitely a little ways to go yet. 45 gallons uh, product coming out now, we're about 55 seconds into our test. Definitely a nice blue pattern all the way across, but we're still about 10 feet there from the ends and we're into about 55 gallons about a minute and five in you can still see we got two nozzles to go some blue coming in there the second one um, but our last tip hasn't quite got there yet and we kick it off here with about 62 gallons so what we just demonstrated in that video is what most of you know already that when product enters the boom it starts from the center of the machine and works its way out toward the ends we just let that machine spray for well over a minute before we ever had blue dye to the end of the tips. Okay, so you'd say a minute, but what we also know is the center and the mid sections create an enormous hot spot because they sit there and spray the entire time with product already loaded before our ends ever receive the product. Again, we're going to demonstrate to you very soon in another video how this problem will now be forever solved on the new C-Series Rotator.